that is a big hot dog. Look at that thing. Cheese, onions, green onions, jalapenos, lots of pickled jalapenos. Hey everyone, Joel Anson here, and today we are still in London. And for our third or fourth time visiting this location, we are Man vs. Food London, guys. Why have we been here so many times? Because they have many, many challenges. They have six or seven on the menu. Uh, this is gonna be, I think, the fourth I'm trying here. Um, crazy, but it's funny. We like literally have, you know, let's say four days in London. We're planning to spend three of them here, and this is the last one. So that being said, guys, we're here doing their hot dog challenge. It's called their meter-long hot dog challenge. So it consists of nine frankfurters. Then it's on this giant kind of almost like pretzel bun, big thingy thing. It's like a loaf. I don't know. It looks like pretzel to me. Um, so some giant loaf of bread, absolutely huge. Then it's topped with a whole bunch of chili, a whole bunch of cheese, topped with a whack of jalapenos, so it is pretty spicy. I think maybe there's like some onions on there too. I'm not 100% sure I'll get the exact details. Um, I think we are going to have 30 minutes to complete the challenge. If we do, we do get a 100 pound, yes, 100 pound cash prize. However, we do pay 60 pound for this challenge regardless. So net gain of 40 pound or about, I don't know, let's say $60, something like that. So anyway, let's head in, let's have fun, let's eat the food. Should be good. And uh, that's about that, meter long hot dog. I think this is probably London's biggest hot dog. Let's go with that. Let's go eat. Hey everyone, real quick, I want to thank Sponge today's video being Liquid IV Hydration Multiplier. So now you're probably wondering what actually is Liquid IV. Well, Liquid IV is a hydration multiplier. It is going to hydrate you two times faster than regular water would. It also has three times the electrolytes of your traditional sports drinks five essential vitamins. I got the Concord grape here and this thing is absolutely delicious. It sounds so funny, but even just the smell of it is so good. Every time I take a drink, I gotta give it a smell. It's a natural Concord grape flavor and it reminds me of these like amazing little lollipops I used to get when I went to the doctor and they were the best grape flavored lollipops ever, even if I didn't really enjoy the doctor, it was well worth the visit. So how does Liquid IV work? Well, Liquid IV uses a cellular transport technology, the same technology used in medical and professional hydration formulas. It's good for when you're out exercising, it's good for when you're sitting in the sun, it's especially good for those mornings where you know you uh, had a busy night, and let's just say you wake up feeling Great. But now I need some hydration. I can just whip one of these up. I don't have to reach for potatoes at 7 a.m. in the morning or anything else strange like that. So if you want to try the liquid IV for yourself, especially the Concord Great Flavor or the other great flavors available, click the link down below and use my code Joel Hansen to save 20% off your order plus free shipping. Like I said, click the link down below and or use my code Joel Hansen for 20% off and free shipping. Alright everyone, so here we are with the hot dogs. Very, very, very large at that. Um, hard to kind of like fathom how big this is, but it's definitely very thick. So yes, there is onions, both white and green, and then the jalapenos, loads of cheese, loads of chili, hot dogs. Oh, that's good stuff. Scott, yeah, ready to eat? Absolutely, yes. starving. Yeah, so there we go, guys, let's get into this. Um, hopefully, it's not too crazy. This bread is definitely, I think, gonna be the difficult part. But uh, yeah, that, let's pretty much rock and roll 30 minutes, right? Yep. 30 minutes, so 30 minutes. that, let's get started here. Just momentarily. Oh, by the way, look, guys, this is the original Happy Healthy Hungry shirt. Grab yourself some merch, joeleats.com. It's been a long time since I wore this shirt. I've forgotten a lot of different trips, so good to be back, guys. All right, everybody, apparently they are doing their own countdown. So let's go. Mm. Good. Best spice. Let's see with the jalapenos. Mm -hmm. The chili has some moisture. Mm. I don't know if it's called chili or like meat sauce. That's what the hot dogs look like.
Nine of those in there. I feel like a chicken hot dog. Hey everyone, welcome to Zooter. Today we are here taking on the meter long hot dog. So I kind of told you the gist of it, but essentially if you're not familiar, a meter is three feet. So it's a three foot long hot dog on a really interesting kind of pretzely slash, I don't really know how to describe it, bread. It definitely had like quite a bit of texture, kind of like a tougher outside like you saw, but it wasn't like super, super hard. It was just Kind of had like a really hard or harder crust i guess that's the best way the inside was uh at least quite moist especially with the addition of kind of the insides definitely uh not a clean challenge no i see why you went with the gloves i did and this is what the meat sauce looks like A real chili, if you'll call it. Number 216 now. So they call this a chili cheese dog, but this is definitely no North American chili cheese dog. In all reality, I don't know if all chili in the United Kingdom is like this, but the chili was not chili. It was purely like ground beef. So this makes sense. If you've ever been to Taco Bell, their ground beef there is like super finely minced. It's also like quite wet. That's basically what this was. There was definitely no beans, no other vegetables, and it wasn't liquidy. It was 99% solid, but it was like a moist solid. That's the best way I can describe it. A Taco Bell ground beef, if that makes sense. So there was that, and then all the onions, and so many jalapenos. They definitely loaded them up for our challenges today. Make some ketchup. The ketchup is a good addition to hot dogs. Depending on the occasion when we were here, we really got like mixed responses. Sometimes the like staff were super awesome. Uh, today, I mean, they didn't even let us actually get really set up uh, before, you know, starting us. Like basically just saying, all right, there's your food. All right, go. So yeah, I kind of had a bit of an abrupt start. Um, at the start um, but besides that we did have the 30 minutes to complete the hot dog um, i also do think they were using or frankfurters i guess well they called the hot dog featuring nine frankfurters you know nine wieners franks whatever you want to call them and now let me talk about those frankfurters or what they called frankfurters because those were very different yeah the meat's nice and moist so adds a little bit of uh, ease to get the bread down with Doesn't taste as sweet as the one last time. No. Not a brioche. Mm -hmm. So this was the only time I had the opportunity to eat a hot dog in the United Kingdom. So I'm not sure if every hot dog was like this, but either these were chicken hot dogs or they were just incredibly different than any other hot dog I've ever had actually in North America. I'll try a little ketchup just to try it. It's surprising because I ate four bottles of ketchup the last time I was here. <sighs> I wouldn't describe them as juicy and... Okay, go. This is gonna sound really negative, but I don't mean it so. But when you took a bite of the hot dog and chewed it, it almost had like a sawdust texture. So typically I'd use a spoon to clean this up with, but no spoons today here, so... <coughs> yeah, apparently they don't have spoons here. I'm using a fork, I guess. <laughs> And I'm not saying that the hot dogs tasted like sawdust or were like sawdust, but arguably, like I said, it was like no other hot dog I had ever had before. Like we asked, they don't have spoons. I do want to thank the restaurant and staff here at Man Vs. Food for accommodating us on our multiple visits. They were uh, generally quite accommodating, generally quite friendly, and I do appreciate the hospitality and offerings. Hopefully I don't get any of the tinfoil in my food. <laughs> 
But at that, let's see if we can get that 100 pound prize, AKA 60 pound net gain. And let me know down below if anybody's ever had a hot dog in the UK. Are they like, and in, in, in North America, are they different? Let me know down below, please. Ooh, jalapeno. Mm -hmm. I'm more described like a taco hot dog. All right, 6.20 in. Joel's just got a few bites left. I got a little mound. Scotty as well. Go to Scotty Scoop. Scotty Scoop. <laughs> Definitely needed when you don't have a spoon, so. But wow. Maybe call it Scotty Spoon now. wasn't going to wear the gloves, I maybe should have second, had a second thought on that now. I did offer. I got to say that. We definitely got a jalapeno loaded dog today. And that is it, we are done. Uh, just about eight, maybe eight ten for myself. Scott is just right behind me, guys. Actually crushing it. Excuse me. Needed. Excuse me. Spicy. Excuse me. I have um, spice on my uh, around my face. Anyway, yeah, really interesting hot dog. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about it in just a moment. Let's watch as Scott finishes up with the Scotty Scoop. Probably should have left this on. And keep it up, my friend, doing real, real well. Just a bite or two left. Oh, and we did weigh the hot dogs. They were like seven pounds. Mm. <coughs> mm. <coughs> that, I call that a spicy hot dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll tell you guys about it in a sec. Scott's almost done. Mm. bunch of shrapnel left over. <coughs> Spicy. Spicy shrapnel. Somehow I end up with a hot water. Which, uh, the hot water and spice is a little, eh, I probably prefer at least room temperature, maybe a little cooler. I'll put it that way. Coming down to his last bites here. Absolutely crushing it. Since I took so long, I might as well clean my full plate there. Leave no doubt. Nice. 
Woo! So, 10 to 56 for Mr. Scott, according to the timer. Uh, Excuse me. Feel Ooh. better? Well needed. Yeah, yeah, well needed. Lots of burps. Yeah. So, yeah, about that hot dog. So, um, well, first off, a meter, guys, if you're not familiar, is three feet or about three feet. So, it's definitely sizable. Uh, the bread was. It was quite thick. It was quite serious. Um, I will say, having that bit of meat sauce, which I would call—I wouldn't call it a chili. I called it meat sauce. It was very, very thick. It reminded me of like a taco meat um, on there. I think definitely helped with that moisture. I feel like the hot dogs were chicken dogs, um, but I would definitely call this a taco hot dog rather than a chili cheese dog. Yeah. I mean, it, like I said, it's basically like, in my opinion, ground taco meat. Uh, not really like a liquidy chili. When I think of chili dog. Um, there was a white cheese, a called a queso blanco for the sake of it, which a little different from like a chili dog, and then loads of jalapenos, loads of onions. Um, but yeah, I mean overall, it wasn't too bad. It tastes pretty good. I'm definitely uh, appreciative of the staff here. And uh, this is our third or fourth visit. Third visit? Uh, fourth. Fourth visit here to Man vs. Food, guys. The last, though, I will admittingly say, uh, it's been a long time. We've done many challenges here, and we've literally spent, we came back like three days. I think they're a little sick of us here. Uh, some of the staff seem excited to see us, some of them don't really appreciate us. But anyway, for that, we do get the 100 pound prize each. So, a net gain of 40 pound each. Pretty dang cool. And um, that's about that. I mean, it's a pretty cool spot. I'm glad they have so many challenges. Cool that they offer cash on them. All of, almost, a lot of them. A lot of them. A lot of them. And uh, that's about that, guys. So, of course, the next one's a happy day. You're happy eating. Spicy taco dog, the biggest hot dog in London. And uh, that's about it. So until next time, thanks for joining me, Scott. Thank All right, you. you here. What do you think of it? Yeah, no, it was good. Uh, good dog. I mean, uh, overall, it was. Um, yeah, I don't know. The, the the meat was nice and moist, and it added to the bread, like you said before. Lots of spice, extra spice. I feel it right now. But uh, besides that, yeah, chili cheese dog. I mean, what can you say? What can you say? So everyone, until next time, appreciate you. Have a lovely day. Oh, like I said, legit. Happy, healthy, hungry. Woo! Have a lovely day. And here we have the London Tower, the Tower of London. We're not going to go in it. We uh, don't have time, unfortunately, but it's essentially a castle. I think it should be called, like, the Castle of London, in my opinion. But yeah, essentially a castle, which is pretty cool. Definitely... Quite old dated, lots and lots and lots of stone. Pretty cool looking. Can't tell you much about it. I guarantee there's a lot of history. Definitely a lot of a war history. There's some cannons and stuff. But yeah, guys, definitely cool. And it's, uh, I mean, it's conjunction. Two tower bridges right there. So, and then there's pod dining. All right, we're soon gonna be meeting up with some friends for dinner, but in the meantime, we're back in the London Eye area. Just kind of check it out. Earlier, we just kind of walked across. So we have some uh, frozen yogurt double-decker bus. That's actually pretty cool. We have some little shops, all kinds of little bars, food venues, facilities. We have a uh, merry-go-round, I guess. Yeah, merry-go-round or carousel. Toilets, definitely a key, and you do have to pay for them, actually. Yes, they charge you to use the restroom. I don't know how much it is, it's probably like, Half a pound, so 65 cents American. They have not cotton candy, but candy floss. Candy floss, guys. Gotta use the proper terminology. Um, but yeah, there you go. I mean, if you wanna go on a carousel, pretty cool. Again, we have Big Ben over there. The water. And furthermore, the London Eye, we have some street performers happening up here. Maybe we'll see what that is all about but definitely a happening spot down here by the water they're doing some bowl spinning which they gave the kids pretty impressive actually i mean i guess as long as they keep going they're good to go then he's starting to take them here and then we saw the carousels all that stuff right down from the eye right there we have this uh, crazy skate park actually which is pretty cool i'm, I'm really surprised they have a skate park kind of here preserved in such like what I call like a high traffic, you know, valuable area. But, you know, some ramps, this guy's skating, biking, graffiti, kind of cool. I mean, worth, I think, like seeing and mentioning. 
I don't know if we'll see anybody do any tricks, but you know, little things. Everybody, we walked a bit. We are in the area called Strand. We got some British flags. We got, I guess, it's a big like theater district. Cool looking area of town. I mean, that's all I'll say. Maybe we'll come back and catch a show, but right now we're gonna go eat. Not a food challenge, guys. We're going for dinner. <laughs> and we're in the famous Covent Garden. So, from my understanding, this used to be the old farmer's market. Got some cool kind of glass pictures. We've seen a few similar things in markets before. Now it's mostly like restaurants, some uh, souvenirs and stuff, but we made it to Covent Garden. All right, everybody. And we're here with our friends seeing London by night. Here's some, I don't know, National Gallery thing. Look at this, we got the big lion statues there. Look at this big monument. I don't know what it's called, but it looks really cool. I'd like to see that maybe in the daytime at some point. But this is awesome. It's a crazy busy uh, time. It's a holiday weekend. And there is people having fun. We're having fun. Driving very fun cars. Very responsibly, obviously. <laughs> obviously only trying to conserve gas and not having any fun um, at all. Obviously. But I don't know, guys, this is amazing. This is really cool. It's been a great way to see it at night. And uh, we're gonna have more to come. And we saw Big Ben by day, here's Big Ben by night. It looks super cool, it looks kinda like, I don't know if eerie is the right word, but kinda eerie, but super cool. And uh, soon we'll be going back towards the eye. This is like a, a bridge uh, that I guess we, we walked across the pedestrian bridge over there earlier. Now we'll be going across an actual bridge. We had, uh, here's a statue. Oh, oh yeah, like, there's one and I all lit up. That just looks really cool. Nice purpley pink. And uh, some other chariot statue thing there. Yeah, this is cool. Oh yeah, look, they have all the lights. Oh wow, that looks real cool. Hold it up. There's a pedestrian bridge over there. All kinds of good stuff. Yeah, this is cool. Although London closes early, but nonetheless. <laughs> and we're here by the eye. We got the trees all lit up too. Gorgeous. Not just the eye, but the eyelashes. That's what we call the trees. Eyelashes. This is what I love about the UK too, guys. Look, at any time, you can park anywhere. There's no, like, after hours, we're literally just parked on a sidewalk. Like, this doesn't happen in North America. We would get, there you go. We get ticketed, towed, booted. Here it's A-OK. -okay. Thank you, UK. Oh, that rock. Look at this, guys. That is gorgeous. This is the Parliament Building. We have the some of the downtown metro over there. This is awesome, man. London by night is a sight. Even though everything closes at six o'clock, it's still, it's still pretty to see. I like it a lot. There's some rickshaws, all that good stuff.